1983 Fleer, Kent Herbick, still laughing. What's a guy got to do to get a little cardboard love? Twins fans may have pondered that very question in 1982, especially if they were card collectors tearing their way through packs of Fleer that summer. Because as a group of young prospects started to find their way into the major leagues, promising better days ahead in the Metrodome, some of them were hard to get a beat on, cardboardily that is, at least if your card of choice was Fleer. All these years later, one of the Philadelphia gum maker's omissions stands out like a vowel in a certain player's name. Where the heck is the Kent Herbick rookie card? Well, you can find Herbie in that year's Don set on a solo card to boot. You could also find him as part of a bevy of the Minnesota Twins future stars nestled there between Lenny Fiedo and Tim Loudner. And then later that year, you could find Herbick on a solo rookie card in the 1982 Topps Traded set, a fitting tribute to a guy who smashed 23 home runs, drove in 92, batted 301, and finished second in the American League Rookie of the Year voting to Cal Ripken Jr. But Fleer? Mm, well, the dog ate their homework. And their Herbick rookie card? And their Friedo and Launer rookie cards? And one for Tom Brunaski, who came from the Twins via a trade in May of 1982, even though all those guys landed rookie cards from the other major card companies that year. And in Herbick's case, even though he logged 24 games for the Twinkies in the strike-shortened 1981 campaign, a call-up necessitated by his mashing single-A pitching to the tune of 379, 27 home runs, 111 RBI, and a scant 121 games. None of that was enough for Fleer. His breakout 1982 was enough, though, and Fleer joined the Herbick fray in 1983 with a shot of the young slugger leaning on a stick. If Herbick looks a little cheeky here, maybe it's because he knows that Fleer missed out big time in 1982, and he's enjoying a quick I-told-you-so moment. Or maybe it's because of that Castino embrazened on the front handle running down the front of his torso. Was he trying to have a bit of fun with Fleer's photographer, trying to coax the card maker into another gaffe? Maybe they would release Herbick's picture on teammate John Costino's card. No, as it turns out, they got the right pick with the right name and finally gave collectors a Herbick Fleer rookie card, though technically it's the first Fleer card, or FFC, since Fleer missed out on the rookie boat. And though it's probably far-fetched to think Herbert gave or gives a flying Fleer card, yes, FFC, about any of the gaffes or misses and potential cheekiness, it's fun to pretend. After all, wouldn't you prefer your baseball cards to come with a sense of humor?